everyone we are doing a video series on how to use copilot studio as a skill in azure bot framework this is the last part in this video series where we will see how to configure azure bot service to connect to the web service that we created in the step three in the third video of the series and also published to telegram bot using the access token that you got in the previous step so the previous video of this series so the best way to see how to configure azure bot service to this is i'll take you back to the article that we wrote there we have good screenshots i'll explain it to you so here when you go to azure look for azure bot service again like i said i expect some basic understanding of azure uh, I'm assuming that you can look for Azure Bot service. It looks something like this. Within Azure Bot service, you can create a new bot service. Your new bot service might look something like this. I named this demo bot service. And you go to settings and configuration where you have to give a couple information that I'll explain. Messaging endpoint. This endpoint is the end block URL or your web service URL. So if you have deployed this in proper VM or web service, Take that URL, make sure you remember to put API messages, and that becomes the URL. For my testing, like I said, I used ngrok utility to connect my local host to this uh, just for quick testing. So this is my URL. Uh, bot type is uh, multi-tenant app ID, which I have blurred out here, but this is the app ID that is there for your bot service. Again, I'll not go into detail there. And remember, these are the information that we also put when we looked into our Visual Studio code in earlier uh, video of the series, where we said, these are the, this is the app ID, this is the bot type. These are the information that we have to provide in our environment variable in our Visual Studio code, in our Azure Bot Framework code, so that this Azure Bot service can talk to that web service. Okay, uh, this is inside API key. So I'll skip these things. So this is how you configure this to make sure you can talk to the Azure Bot Framework web service that we deployed earlier. The other part of this is now you just, all you have to do is just take this Azure Bot service and publish it to a channel. So when you click on that channel, you'll see Telegram there. And now on the Telegram, this is very simple. All you have to do is publish uh, well, type this access token that you got in the previous step. So if you look at the video of uh, the series, the previous one where we created a Telegram bot and took the access token, just copy that here and that's it. You're done. Once you have that, whatever bot you had created in Telegram, it'll experience will look something like this where you can ask questions like, hello, uh, sorry, bot will ask you questions like, hello, how can I help you? You say order, order status, depending on your trigger phrases. This is, as you can um, remember, it's coming from Copilot Studio. So Copilot Studio, uh, Azure Bot Framework sent this to Copilot Studio. Copilot Studio got this message from the user order. In the topic, it knows that for order, I have to first ask what's your order ID. It asks you when you give this information as a bot framework again sends it back to the Copilot Studio and Copilot Studio logic says that this order will be shipped in two days. Now you can, as a user, you can ask it again for ID number 10, Copilot Studio knows that it's shipped and that's how it works. So that's overall end to end how you can connect from Azure Copilot, sorry, Copilot Studio as a skill in Azure Bot Framework. Very, very handy in scenarios where you have to take advantage of Copilot Studio low code, no code capabilities, but also fill the gap by complementing that with Azure Bot Framework code. It's like I mentioned earlier, this is very, very involved and a complex process. Uh, it's only for professional developers, it's not really a low code scenario, but you still get advantage of low, co low code uh, capability of Copilot Studio because many of the logic and all, you can just let Copilot Studio take care of it. So uh, hopefully you found it useful. Uh, I'm hoping that you can implement it yourself. Like I mentioned earlier, if you need help in getting access to the code, reach out to us. 
hello at cloudetica.com. If you need help in getting your bot service as a managed hosting, because hosting and managing as a bot service is also a complex thing, do reach out to us. Or if you want us to implement something like this in your organization where you want to integrate Copilot Studio with Azure Bot Framework, do reach out to us. Uh, hope you find this video useful. If you find it useful, do subscribe, share. We'll keep posting videos like this. And like we mentioned earlier, for any help, do reach out to us. Here is our email.